We'll move very quickly, uh, as quickly as possible, and we'll include a broad array of candidates. Uh, you know, identifying coaches who exhibit integrity, uh, competitiveness, and a genuine care for student athletes. Um, I'm confident that we'll have a very diverse pool of candidates and we'll ultimately find the right fit for the Arizona men's basketball program. Hey, Dave, uh, I'll, I'll give you two questions here. First of all, um, in terms of the coaches you have on staff, would there be a possibility that you could move forward with an interim situation through this entire season uh, with Jack Murphy and say Jason Terry, if that's a possibility? And also why the decision to do this now versus right at the end of the season? Uh, as, as I've mentioned in the statement, uh, Jack Murphy is our interim head coach. He will navigate the program with the support of the current staff through our search period. Um, we will be in an active search and uh, it's an optimal time to, to find a new head coach. We will move forward with that. Um, you know, why now? Uh, these are difficult decisions. Um, there's never a perfect time, uh, but after the conclusion of the season, um, taking some time to evaluate all the factors, considering that very closely, having the appropriate conversations um, and consulting with President Robbins, uh, we just concluded it was time to uh, for a fresh start. So it was time to make a change. Coach Miller won a ton of games during the regular season and did get to three elite eights. How much of this was on the court and how much of this was off the court due to the investigations? Again, I think we're, we're evaluating the overall um, position of the program, and that includes on-court and off-court elements to it. Um, and then when you step back and evaluate where the program is, we have incredibly high standards to be uh, a program that uh, has success at all levels, on and off the court. And when we evaluated it at this point in time, we feel like it's the appropriate time to make a change uh, so that we can, again, uh, restore, uh, begin to rebuild the overall um, high caliber status of this incredible world-class uh, basketball program. I, I, I'm wondering, was there a thought to doing this maybe after you got the notice of allegations in October or, or when you finished your own investigation? Because at that point, you kind of knew what was being alleged, at least. And I'm wondering why, why a decision wasn't made at that point. Again, Bruce, uh, as I mentioned, you know, we taking all of the factors into consideration. Uh, I'm continuously evaluating the status of our program. Um, at the conclusion of the season, we had uh, the full body of work. Uh, we knew where we stood. Uh, we, you know, again, um, decided at that time, uh, now that the season had concluded that it was time to move on. Okay, and, and would this technically fall under the, the firing without cause on the contract where I think you – you pay him 50% when you talk about uh, the full the full amount owed or or are you about paying him the full amount of what he would have earned if he was coaching this season? That's correct. We'll, we'll um, uh, follow exactly what the contract allows for um, and as it dictates. Okay, so the, uh, uh, the buyout clause basically as it's written, which is 50% yeah, of his base. Correct. We separated without cause. Okay. Um, again, in the best interest of everyone concerned. And uh, that is, that's correct. The, the clause in the contract will dictate the, the financial piece of it. How much will you guys focus on, on looking at somebody within the family, uh, the Arizona family, as opposed to looking uh, from the outside when, you, when you're going through this process now? Well, there's certainly um, some incredibly uh, outstanding individuals that are in the game of basketball that have had a huge impact on our program here. I um, mean, continue to do that uh, throughout the coaching ranks. Um, I, I would assume that they would be very viable candidates for this. Uh, this is a high level job, high level program. I think our interest will come uh, from a, a variety of places. And uh, our goal is to find the, the right person that's the right fit for Arizona basketball. Uh, will you hire a search firm, Dave? I've been told you will. You're planning to. We we will have a search firm that will help us uh, uh, manage this process. Okay. I know you mentioned that you had uh, met with student athletes and and kind of told them the news. What did you exactly tell them, and what was their reaction? 
Well, again, I, I don't think I'm going to get it directly into the specifics of, of that meeting. But um, again, we had our, our coaches there as well as our student athletes and some other members of the staff around the program. Um, it, it, you know, these are difficult times. It's a challenging time when uh, you have to make a, a change. Um, this is part of the adversity and um, that, you know, but to, to stay focused, that we will move quickly. We will hire an outstanding coach. Um, and we, our goal is again, to um, help them with their experience here um, and all facets of their college experience and beyond. We want them to meet their goals. Um, we want them to play for championships. Uh, we want them to excel at a high level. And uh, so I told them that we, were, we are 100% committed to that and we will go out and find an excellent new head coach for this program. Uh, two questions, Dave. Number one, um, how much of a factor did the Arizona Board of Regents play in this decision in terms of your ability to extend Miller once the contract ran up? You know, extension was one of those factors and something we considered. Um, you know, again, I, I'm not going to speak on behalf of the board or for the board in any way. Um, but, uh, you know, again, we, we considered those things and we got to the point where we felt that it was best to move forward um, and change direction of our leadership. And then with the, the buyout in football with Kevin Sumlin and all that, where are the financials coming from? What, what are your thoughts on the overall financials in terms of being able to, to hire a new basketball coach? Yeah, again, we'll, um, with the buyout, we'll absorb that within our, our athletic budget um, and we'll be paid through revenues from the athletic department. Um, we feel very confident that we can um, attract and put together a very good package for a new head coach. So it, you've said this a couple of times in a couple of different ways, Dave, it, it, or is it fair to read that this was as much because the program had lagged on the court as the allegations off it? Again, we have very high standards for our basketball program, for all of our programs here. Uh, alignment with the, you know, the values of this university, um, you know, success is important. Um, high performance is important, again, both on and off the court. Um, and we're constantly evaluating that it uh, you know we have not been um, on the competitive side probably as successful as we've wanted um, but there are a number of factors that impact that um, again as we look at those in totality we make an evaluation and today as we stand it's time for a change in that direction um, and a change in leadership is the first step we'll go to brian pearson arizona desert swarm brian uh, Dave, are you concerned that uh, the the fact that the investigation is not over and you haven't received final word from IARP is going to impact uh, the interest in coaches? And what do you, would you say to them if they asked, uh, what do I do if, if we get hit with a two-year ban or something to that? Um, will I get assurances that I'll, I'll be able to stick around long enough to, to see this through? I, you know, I think that uh, experienced candidates that will uh, come into this pool and uh, evaluate this job will understand the process and understand what the ultimate outcomes will be. Um, and we'll still have the opportunity to attract and design um, a, a package and a contract with a coach that will be very acceptable. Thank you. Dave, when did you ultimately make the decision to let go of Sean Miller? I know you said you met with him this morning, but when did you come to, you know, a realization that this was the decision that you wanted to make? Um, and we've been considering this, uh, and again, as we evaluated a number of different uh, areas of, of the program and, and where we wanted to go forward. But ultimately, that decision was made, um, you know, late the last evening or early this morning prior to, to, uh, to arriving at the office and meeting with uh, Coach Miller. And uh, what are the requirements uh, for this job, in your, in your opinion? Again, I think we need an outstanding leader. We need a, 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 a about you know a, a person who can come in, um, a high level basketball coach that understands how to run a program of success, um, in in this day and age of basketball. Uh, but we need a you know we need a person that can lead the program with great integrity. Um, that's what this program, this athletic program, is about, and uh, and and we look forward to attracting that kind of individual. We need a leader. Uh, of, of our student athletes. Um, we need someone who, again, understands the full college experience and wants to help our student athletes grow. At the same time, you know, student athletes that come here in all of our sports want to compete at the very highest level and beyond, you know, and beyond the college uh, level. So 
we want you know people that come in and have those aspirations and we want a head coach that can design a program for that this is a world class basketball program tremendous history that goes back many many years and um, we need someone who can embrace that and help vault us going forward Hi, Dave. Um, I know we keep coming back to this topic, but in, in the months since the season ended, have you, did you come across some additional or new information that maybe you didn't have early on that kind of got us to where we are today? Or has it just been a constant evaluation that, you know, information you had by the end of the season? It's a constant evaluation. Um, it was a very, um, <clears throat> obviously a very difficult and important decision. Wanted to take the appropriate time to um, consult uh, to have the conversations, uh, to understand the direction. Um, and then ultimately that's why we landed where we are today. Did this have anything to do with, uh, allowing the NCAA tournament to play through so you could, you know, begin talking to any candidate that might be available or did that have anything to do with the timing? It really didn't. Um, obviously there's a lot of attention on college basketball, but uh, it really didn't. We just continued to work through the process and got us to today.